Hey guys, what's up? It's Charity, and this is my Black Friday birthday haul, and I'm kind of lumping the two together because my birthday was on Black Friday, and this is like what I bought for myself, and kind of like some of the stuff my mom bought for me because we went shopping together, and um, so basically I'm just going to get started with this first item, and it's the Sephora Favorites Collector's Edition Fragrance Sampler for her. Wow, that's a mouthful. Well, anyway, basically you get ten, um, like, samples, but they're not samples like this. They're, like, pretty big, substantial samples, um, in my opinion. And I just brought that out to, like, give an example. But it's pretty good-sized samples, and you get it for $75, and... After you decide which one you like the best, there's a voucher inside, which is the coolest part, the reason why I got it. Um, you get to bring it back into Sephora and say, this is the one I like the best. And then not only do you get to keep these samples, like they also give you a full size, like 3.4 ounce bottle of perfume. So I'm so excited for that. And I want to do a full review on that. So stay tuned for that um, coming up soon. And then next, I got the Big Ten um, from Benefit. And I normally don't buy things like this. Like, my dog is barking. I'm sorry. But normally, um, I don't buy things like this because I think it's kind of like a waste of money in a way. But it was Black Friday, and it was the last one on the shelf. And I knew they were sold out in stores. So I mean, not in stores. I meant online. Um... But I've always wanted to try Benetint, and Benetint is less than a half of an ounce, and it's $29, and I've just not been able to let myself buy that. I've wanted it for like three years, or I don't know how long, a long time since I've started watching beauty videos, and um, I've always been curious about things like this, but I never could let myself spend that much money on something that tiny. So I decided to get the sampler Big Tin thing because um, you get over an ounce and you get to try 10 products. So it's not like you're stuck with, you know, like a half an ounce of one product for $29 that you're never going to use and you don't like. You get to try all 10 for $32 instead of $29, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you get to try 10 products, and um, and it's more products. So I was just like, I can't pass this up, and when it was the last one on the shelf, and when I tried to buy it at Sephora.com, and I couldn't because it, they were completely sold out, I was like, I have to get it now because this is the last one, and I have to, and I gotta quit talking about that. I keep rambling, but I'm so excited about that, and I want to do a review about that too. And this one I'll probably do a review about too, because this is the 144 piece ultimate eyeshadow palette, and um, I've tried the Coastal Scents, and I thought that that was pretty cool, um, but this was just too good to pass up because it was ten dollars, and I'd heard that Elf was good. I never really have used many Elf products because. I thought that they were actually considered quite cheap, but a lot of girls have been raving online about this, so I decided to get it, and I thought, you know, if anything, I can get a review out of it, because, I don't know. And it was a really good deal, it was $10 for 144 eyeshadows, and normally it's like $15 or something, so that was a good deal. And then I got this Saturday Night Live board game, which I don't even play board games, but I love Saturday Night Live. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, I kind of like the old style, though, like back in the 70s and like early 2000s and, you know, the older like 80s ones because now it's not as good, but it's not bad. I just... You know, they were funnier back then. But anyway, so this was like $4, and normally I think it's like 20 or something. So I thought that was too good of a deal to pass up. And then I got this DVD burlesque, which normally it's like 20 I think. And I got it for like 4 5 6 dollars something like that. And I don't know why I like this movie, because it is a really risque movie. I mean, you can tell by like what she's wearing that it's definitely not for children, but even though it's not something I'd normally go for, when I saw it in theaters, I really, really liked it, so, and she sings so well, like, I'm not even a Christina or a Cher fan, but, I don't know, if you see this movie, it's like one of those, like, 
what I would refer to as a cult movie where you either love it or you hate it. And I just happen to love it because I love musicals. Um, Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side. I got this for like four bucks, five bucks, something like that. And I usually see it in stores around 20 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. So I thought it was a good deal. And I really, really love this movie. It's a really inspirational movie. And um, I don't know. I just like it. And then I got the complete first complete first season of Pretty Little Liars and normally this is around $40 and I got it for 10 so I thought that was too good of a deal to pass up and then next I got a mouse pad and it's recycled or whatever but um I'm not really sure why I got this on Black Friday I just needed one and there happened to be a stack of them I don't even think it was on sale but I was like oh I need one so bad so I just got it so that's cool and then I got um, Twirl by Kate Spade, and it's just a really cool perfume. I got the 1.7 ounce, and I'm kind of a perfume collector, so I should probably do, like, a perfume collection video pretty soon, but I love, love, love this perfume. It just smells really, really clean and fresh, and I don't know. It's just, it's just a nice fragrance, and you kind of have to smell it for yourself because... I don't know how to describe it, and I don't have the box where it says the notes on it right now, or else I'd read it for you. And then next, my mom got me a USB because I think they were on sale, and I just always love USBs. I don't know. I carry them around in my, like, keychain and everything, and I always seem to have a USB with me, and they're so handy. So that's, like, the nerd in me. And then this is the 2011... Um, J.C. Penny Snow Globe, and I've been collecting these since 2009. I'm pretty bummed out though because I um, I have my 2009 one, and then my 2010 actually I think it was my 2010 one. It fell and got broken, and so now I have a 2009, a broken 2010, and my 2011. I wish they like had them online that if like you broke yours or something, you could like get a new one. I don't know because I'm pretty bummed out about that. But I am glad to have a new one, and I'm really excited about it. Um, basically, these are free, but you get them if you're, like, standing outside the the store, or you're, like, the first person, like, in the store, like, the first hundred people or so get one of these every year. So I always try to be, like, first in line at JCPenney just so I can get these because I'm obsessed. And one year, actually it was last year, 2010, where I went to like three JCPenney's, not even kidding, because I wanted a snow globe so bad, and every single place was out, and finally I found a place that had one. And then it wound up breaking, so maybe I just wasn't meant to have it, I don't know. But basically, um, this is my whole haul, and... Yeah, that's what I got at Black Friday, so I hope you enjoyed, and it's kind of random and whatnot, but, um, yeah, and also, let me know if you like these kind of videos where I'm just, like, talking and everything's, like, laid out, because I can do the kind of videos where I'm standing in front of the camera and I hold it up, but I just thought that it was cool that, like, you got to look at all the products and kind of get a better view than me just, like, holding it up for, like, a couple seconds and putting it down, because I actually prefer, uh, sorry, got tongue-tied, because I actually prefer to, um, see this kind, just because you just get to look at all the products. So anyway, that's all, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!